Hi, I'm Matt Drabik with Digitech Systems in Raleigh, North Carolina. We're a Blackmagic dealer. Today we're going to do a quick presentation on how to set up uh, the new switcher with a laptop computer running the free Blackmagic control software for the switcher. With the free Blackmagic control software running on your laptop, have both the laptop and the ATEM switcher on the same network. The easiest way to set up the switcher to work with the laptop is via a USB cable, which you run from the back of the control uh, connection on the back of the switcher to the laptop. Using the command prompt, type in ipconfig. And then make note of the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. Go ahead and click on the Launch ATEM Setup button. Click on the left button to bring up the switcher's values. Then what you want to do is make the subnet mask and the gateway the same values as the network, which you saw earlier from the IP config setup. The first three domains of the IP address should be the same as the network, and the last value should be different, should be unique. And go ahead and click on save. And then you will need to do a power cycle to have the uh, settings saved on the system. We power cycled the switcher by switching it off and then back on. We disconnected the USB cable, and they're both on the same network. And we typed in the IP address for the switcher on the laptop. And click save. Now you have the laptop talking to the switcher, and you can operate the switcher from the software. You can punch up your cameras, you can punch up your graphics, you can do transitions, dissolve effects. And whatever you do to the laptop affects the switcher, and whatever you do to the switcher affects the laptop. The Blackmagic control software allows you not only to operate the switcher, but to bring up the media pool, to bring up graphics, load up graphics, to bring up the audio mixer to control your digital audio sources as well as your analog XLR sources. And lastly, if you have any black magic cameras connected, you can do shading and camera control from the software as well. We hope that you found this tutorial helpful and useful. If you have any questions, feel free to call me or email me at the number and address listed at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.